Hello, I'm Dr. Natalia Delcor, Dean of the College of Business Administration at Texas A&M Kingsville. On behalf of the college, I would like to say congratulations to our 2021 Wall of Honor recipients, Mrs. Ricky Cunningham and the late Colonel Edward Preston Jr. It is an absolute honor to recognize both of these key individuals who were instrumental in the AACSB accreditation of our college. It is my great honor and pleasure to be accepted into the College of Business Wall of Honor at Texas A&M Kingsville. Over the past 40 years, I have striven to be a good example of a community leader that has worked to enable this university to continue to be a life-changing experience for the students that come from all over the South Texas area. It was and always has been my dream to be a mentor to the students at this university and to inspire them to see their dreams become a reality. I have enjoyed my years of service on the Dean's Leadership Board and found the Advisory Committee for the recent accreditation to be fascinating and very rewarding. I am very proud of the strides that this college has taken in the past 10 years and I hope that it will continue in the future. I have tried to be very supportive of both the Athletic Department and the College of Business with any time and talent that I possess. I am again very humbled to receive this honor and hope all things great for Texas A&M Kingsville for the future. I would like to thank the College of Business for selecting my father for the Wall of Honor recognition. He was very proud to be a Havelina. He enrolled in the College of Arts and Industries in 1957, graduating three and a half years later with a degree in business. Upon graduating, he was commissioned in the regular army. Whether we lived in Texas, Kansas, Kentucky, and even overseas, Daddy showed his love for the university by supporting the Alumni Association, Havelina Nation, President's Club, just to name a few. Upon retiring in 1993, he re relocated to his beloved Kingsville with our two younger brothers, where he taught at the Academy High School for several years. It is at this point in his life where he fully, and I mean fully, immersed himself within his alma mater. He supported the golf tournaments, participated in the community breakfasts, and he attended the economic forums held on campus. Our father held 50 yard line football tickets for over 50 years and would take me and, our, and my three brothers tailgating before the football games. And later he did this with his grandchildren. We loved going to the football games with him. We looked forward to the marching band playing Jalisco. And throughout all those games, we would all shout, go hogs, go. I would be remiss if I didn't mention his support of the women's volleyball team. He loved watching them play. He enjoyed cooking for the team. And he, he really loved hearing the stories and listening to the players with their uh, talk about their passion for the game. Our father established three scholarships, not only for the College of Business, but the ROTC department as well. One of his favorite achievements for the ROTC department was, the refer was the, for the refurbishment of the howitzer and the reinstatement of the tradition of the firing of the cannon after each javelina touchdown. Every time he heard the cannon, there was such a big smile on our father's face. Another thing that was especially dear to our father was attending the yearly College of Business Scholarship Dinner, where he would meet the two recipients of his scholarship. I attended several of these dinners with my father and saw firsthand how moved he was when he met these students received their letters of thanks and, and spoke to them and asked them what their plans were for the future. Afterwards, we'd go back to his house, read the notes and, and read the kind words of thanks. And he treasured each and every one of those cards. On behalf of the Preston family, I thank you for honoring our father, Edward J. Preston. fully engaged in the life of our college, inside and outside the classroom. 
their dedication to our students is worth celebrating. Thank you and congratulations.